Good morning students. Now we will go to double circulation. What is the double circulation? There is pulmonary circulation and there is systemic circulation. Lungs ke blood poi varrade or circulation that is pulmonary circulation. Heart le irundu body le yalla organs ko blood poi varrade systemic circulation. This is called double circulation. In heart le right side le thaniya narakade left side le thaniya narakade that we will see. First circulation of the blood was first discovered by William Harvey. सर्कुलेटिक is the oxygenated blood entering the aorta from the left ventricle is carried by network of the arteries to the organs and to arterioles and finally capillaries to the tissues all body tissues that is called systemic circulation the deoxygenated blood from the tissue is collected by the venules veins and vena cava and emptied into the right atrium that is called ten okay this pulmonary circulation blood from the right ventricle is taken to the lungs by pulmonary artery and oxygenated blood from lungs is emptied into the left auricle that is by the pulmonary vein so this is called pulmonary circulation so systemic circulation left ventricle la irundhu full organs ku poi anga irundhu return aagi it has come to the right auricle that is systemic circulation okay now pulmonary circulation right ventricle la irundhu taken to the lungs and by a pulmonary artery so oxygenated blood from the lungs is taken back to the left auricle by the pulmonary vein is the pulmonary circulation different pressures are maintained if a <coughs> pulmonary circulation layo systemic circulation layo ore blood pressure unda there is a danger ye pulmonary la lungs la alveoli odiya walls are very thin and high pressure la blood pochin sonna it may get ruptured there may be congestion pulmonary congestion so there shall be less blood pressure so different pressure are maintained in the pulmonary and systemic circulation on a systemic circulation la aorta highest pressure then poga poga artery la korinjite pogano artery la innu koraino capillaries la kalasi la koraino so in the different pressures are maintained in the pulmonary circulation and systemic circulation in the lungs capillaries must be very thin to allow the gas exchange so by high pressure the fluid can leak through the or rupture the capillary wall and can accumulate in the tissue so high pressure shall not be there in the pulmonary circulation but high pressure is needed for systemic circulation it is to force the blood you know to all the areas all the tissues of the body so oh, this is the double circulation la varakudiya vishayam okay thank you students we will meet again